Hello everyone. This video is a continuation of my last video where I started talking about information and communication technology. So let's continue our discussion on computers. First, let's talk about how computers store data. Computer has only one language that it can understand and process. Binary and in technical terms 0 and 1. This 0 and 1 are called binary digits or bits in short. Any data stored in the computer system is stored as the combination of these two binary digits. So a bit is the smallest unit of information held in a computer system. Here we have discussed a conversion system starting from bits, how to go to higher memory sizes. So let's see. 8 bits together constitute 1 byte. 1024 bytes together constitute 1 kilobyte or KB in short. 1024 kilobytes equals 1 megabyte or MB in short. 1024 megabytes equals 1 gigabyte or GB and 1024 gigabytes is equal to 1 terabytes or TB in short. This is quite important from exam's point of view. You should learn this conversion and remember it by heart. Now let's move on to internet. Internet is a global computer network with information and communication facilities that uses transmission control protocol and internet protocol for transmitting data via various sources. Transmission control protocol or internet protocol are a set of rules or say protocols for sending and receiving data. Modulator and demodulator which we call as modem in short, router, hub, bridge, etc. are some of the hardware requirements for setting up internet. Hypertext transfer protocol, file transfer protocol, transmission control protocol, internet protocol, etc. are some of the software requirements. World Wide Web is another important concept to understand. It is an information arena where documents and applications are collected and is accessible to the user through internet. This www World Wide Web is usually accessed using web browsers. A web browser is a software that enables the user to browse through the internet and access the data. Firefox and Internet Explorer are common web browsers. Now, let's move on to the next phase of information and communication technology. Let's study the role of ICT in our modern education system. Information and communication technologies play a very vital role in imparting education. Audio video conferencing TV and radio broadcasting are some of the common methods used in ICT. There are three main ways in which ICT is implemented in modern education. Through ICT education, through ICT supported education and through ICT enabled education. When it comes to purpose, there are numerous in our education system. To name a few, we have to improve access of education and other related stuff through online education, especially in the remote areas. Improvement in teaching, transparency and quality of education is also an important purpose of ICT. We also have measurements of students willingness and effectiveness and analyzing their behavior and performances. Now 
Coming to the major ICT learning categories, we have classified the education important ways into three categories. First, e-learning, second, blended learning, and third, distance learning. First, e-learning. So, it is an online learning platform which is associated with advanced learning technologies. It is quite feasible for remote learning. In blended learning, we have a combination of several delivery methods for any course. It can be face-to-face, self-paced or in any online form. In distance learning, the student stays at home and communicate with the faculty and other students via electronic mediums. This form of learning is also known as open learning. It majorly comprises of internet based training. So friends, that's it for today. See you in the next video. Thank you.